Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about the new video capture system, Yuja. So Yuja is a tool that allows us to store videos online and they integrate with Canvas. So to access Yuja, there are a couple different ways, but Canvas is probably the easiest. Um, you're going to open up your course and look for the Yuja link on the left hand side menu. It should be there by default, but if it's not, you can always go into settings, click on navigation, and locate Yuja, which would be at the bottom um, link, and just drag it up so that it shows in the top. And then it will make sure you save, otherwise nothing will work. And then Yuja will appear in your menu. Now it's already here for me, so I don't need to save. I'm just going to click the home button and go back to my course. So by clicking on the Yuja link, it brings up the video platform within Canvas. There's a media manager that allows you to see all of the videos that you already own and kind of shows you little um, thumbprints, thumbnails of them. To create just a new recording, so maybe you're not sure about what you're gonna do with the video or where it's going, but you wanna create one, you can click the Create Recording button. If you already have the software installed, um, you can go ahead and click the Start button to launch it. However, if you have not downloaded and installed the software, you wanna download and install the Yuja software. So you would save the file um, and install it on your computer. So once you've installed it, this is already installed on this computer, you can go ahead and click start and it will launch the recorder. Okay, so yeah, you'll know when the software loads because it will pop up a little um, capture window within um, on your computer. The capture window allows you to kind of control what it is you want to record. So you'll notice some icons. Um, there's one that says video, and if you have multiple video inputs, you can choose which one you want to choose. You could also choose to just not have any video. Maybe you're not recording yourself in the video, so you can turn that off. The same goes for audio. You can choose which microphone you want to use. Um, so I could turn that on and then say which one I want to use um, for my capturing. Finally, you can also decide what you want to grab for your screen. So if you have multiple screens, you can say I want to grab just one screen or both screens um, or just capture a piece of your desktop as part of the process. The other two buttons, the live and profile, will save for another uh, day. Um, just This is more to get you going. And then once you're ready, go ahead and choose Start to record your screen. It flashes a little menu that says Capture Starting, and now it's capturing my software, my video, whatever it is I'm recording. So this is recording whatever is on my desktop. It's pretty awkward, but that's fine. Um, you'll notice on the bottom right that there is a little uh, navigation that kind of indicates that Yuja is recording. Um, and if you click on the little menu, you can kind of see some more items that are related to the recording. Once you've finished your Yuja recording, so this one's going to be pretty boring, you can click on the square to finish. And it will tell you that your capture session has ended. So we can go ahead and save. Um, we can access our stream details um, from the little menu. Otherwise, you can go down to your Yuja app and look and see what um, the new video. It usually takes a minute or two for it to load and kind of show in the system. So I'm going to click again on the Yuja link on the menu button in Canvas. And my new recording is right here in my media manager. So that's how you record the screen with Yuja. And again, it's taking a moment to load the profile because it's still processing that video. Usually you get an email once you're done that says, hey, this video has been processed by Yuja and it will give you the little icon and the whole, tran what it's transcribed. So that's the, the easy way to access 
Um, you did just to see the different tools that you have available to you.